Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to draw with one point perspective. So it's something like this. This is what I'm going to show you in this video. How to draw a normal room. And sometimes you're going to get something like this. With just one point perspective. Okay. And for the next lesson, I'm going to show you how to draw with two points of perspective to draw something like that it's kind of 3D more 3D and something like that and also drawing like this one and in the third lesson I'm gonna show you how to draw with three points perspective to get something more realistic like something like that Okay, so, uh, so the first thing we're gonna do is draw a point in the middle of a paper. It's better to use a long ruler, it's easier. So as, is, as I said, draw a point in the middle of a paper. exactly in the middle after that draw eight objects around the point in the middle Now we're gonna draw uh, this object, we're gonna make them 3D. How? Uh, so we're gonna take every corner and uh, draw a line to the center of the paper, something like this. But not for all the corners. Why? Because this one is gonna be behind the object, so we can draw it. Now, for this one, we're gonna draw three, uh, three cor corners, because this one gonna be visible, not except the, that one. Do the same thing for the other objects. Now, after that, for this exercise, you'll know how to draw objects in different uh, positions. Like, if it's up here, there's only three corners that you're gonna uh, draw a line to the center of the paper. Now, for the second exercise, is the distance. And now I'm gonna show you how to draw. Uh, things that have the same length in in different positions so the first thing is to draw a line in the center of the paper always in the center of the paper
Now, I'm gonna draw a draw, uh, for example, a tree, something like this, I guess. Just for example, so to make the same thing, the same tree in a point like this one, what you're gonna do is draw a line to this to the bottom of the tree right here, last point. and the line to the top of the tree and here I'm gonna draw the tree So now this tree has the same length as this one and if you want to do another one here what you're gonna do is uh, for the example uh, here I'm gonna draw So <clears throat> So first you're going to draw the object like here now to, to get the same distance from this line to that one here what you're gonna do is draw a point in the middle of this line Then draw a line from here till you touch the the next line. And then draw another line and you get the same distance. And to get another line that have the same distance as this one and this one you can do the same thing I'm gonna draw a line in the middle once you done it just take this point and draw draw a line to the center of the paper and you get all the centers of the lines right here so the next center is right uh, right here and draw a line from like that one and you get the third object something like that that have the same distance
Now what you're gonna do for the third exercise is draw a line from the top to the bottom Now let's try to draw a rule. So let's draw first uh, window. Let's take it its length, for example, from here to here, something like this. This is gonna be the reference of everything that you draw. Now, <laughs> let's draw a table. Let's draw a door. Right here.
Okay, what else? Uh, maybe a toaster here. The clock here, I'm gonna draw first a square. And to use the distance thing that I showed you, I need a line right here. Another line right here. I'm gonna draw a point in the middle of this line. It's gonna be right here. Another line that's passed by the point and something like this to the another one, something like this to the another. Something like that. After this one, you're gonna do two other exercises, which is the first one, draw without a ruler, and the second one is use your imagination to draw another room 
with different objects. Uh, if you have uh, some questions, ask in the comments below. And thanks for watching.